<laughs> Realistic fishing. Thank you, man. I love the channel, by the way. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, it's another cold day, and I mean really cold. Check out this picture from this morning. Yeah, this is just too cold for me. So, we're going to let it thaw out for another day, and in the meantime, we're going to open some mail. If I do it quickly, I think I can get caught up, so let's just get right into it. All right, we got a long tube here from, I don't know who this is from. Let's get it open and find out what's inside. Here we go. Let's see what we have here. We have a micro light glass from Bass Pro Shops. We got a micro light spinning rod. It looks like it uses two to six pound line with a lure up to three eighths ounce. I'm not sure who sent this. I didn't see a note. I didn't see a return address. But if you sent me this ultralight spinning rod, thank you. And we're gonna get it out there and try it as soon as it warms up. You know, I'm only looking for five to 10 degrees and we're gonna have to get this one set up and bring it with. And I got these cool rod wraps I'll have to keep these handy as well. These work good when you're transporting rods and stuff or mailing them. Yo, this is a psycho medic, member of the Assassins of Souls, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, let's keep going and open the next package. This one is from the internet in Richmond, Virginia. The internet is sending me stuff. There's a note here, it says, Alex, big fan of the channel, enjoy these coasters. Signed, Rojo Del Chocolate. I hope I'm getting that right. Awesome. We got some wooden coasters here. I can put this to use right now. Each one of them is etched with my logo. Pretty awesome. Awesome variety so far. We got a rod, we got some coasters. Let's keep going. We got a letter here from Southport, North Carolina. The letter says, Dear Alex, I live in a town here in Southeast North Carolina. There are lots of ponds here, some of which the town stocks with bass, bluegill, sunfish, catfish, and carp. Thought I'd send you pictures of a couple of my recent catches, keeping it realistic in North Carolina. Best regards, Peter. P.S. Love the videos. Keep them coming. All right, let's see what Peter sent in. Here is a picture of a 12-inch sunfish or 11-inch around there somewhere. Nice sunfish here. Also, a newspaper clipping. Here's Pete of St. James holding a six pound bass he caught in a pond. Awesome. Thank you very much for sending mail into the show, Peter. Nice catches, and I'm glad you're out there keeping it realistic. All right, let's get into the next package. Here we have a box from Randall in Plano, Texas. Hey Alex, hope the times are finding you well. I have made several comments on your videos about panfish and using ultralight gear. Please find the enclosed rig that I use. Also enclosed is a panfish kit that I have a lot of success with. I'm sure you can put these to good use and I hope to see some tight lines with the new rigs. Take care and be safe. Randy. P.S. Still love that back wall in the shop. This back wall with all the cool fishing stuff. All right, Randy, thanks for sending something into the show. 
Let's see what's in here. I'm guessing panfish stuff. What's up, everybody? Fatboy Dan here from Fatboy Dan's Great Outdoors. Y'all already know you're watching Realistic Fishing. And just remember to always keep it realistic. First item right on top, we got some Big Bite Baits tubes. I have caught fish on tubes before. Johnson Beetle Spin. Everyone knows what that is. Got some jig heads here from Big Bite Baits. Three packages. Good looking jig heads in a variety of sizes. Also we got some floats from Comal. Some more Big Bite Baits. We got some, uh, they're kind of like tubes. Solid tubes. Some more beetle spins. Here's some Big Bite Baits curly tail grubs. More beetle spin. All right, we got some eagle claw jig heads. And some more Big Bite Baits grubs. All sorts of grubs and stuff in here. Another beetle spin. Another beetle spin. Lots of beetle spins in here today. Here we have a panfish magnet kit. This is pretty awesome. I think I might have one of these somewhere, but it might be running low because I use it every so often and I know it does catch fish. This is an awesome one. Panfish kit by Trout Magnet. Another beetle spin. Some more of those solid tubes. They're kind of like grubs, they're kind of like tubes, somewhere in between. Here we go. Here's a Zebco 33. Well, the box anyway. Let's see what's in here. It's in here. Awesome. So we have a spin cast, but it sits under the rod, right? So it's like a trigger spin. I think that's what it's called. It sits underneath the rod instead of on top. So you hold it like this and cast. Pretty cool. Got a Zebco 33 reel. How cool is that? A couple more items in here. Got some more grubs. And another beetle spin. Great assortment here. We got some grubs, some spinner grubs, some jig heads, the panfish kit, and a new reel. Awesome, awesome variety. Thank you so much for sending something into the show. This is Dakota Ramsey with RWF Pro Wrestling. Realistic fishing, keeping it realistic. Here's a package from Diesel Baits. I've been trying out some of their stuff recently. I don't think I ordered this. Maybe it's a Christmas thank you or something like that. Let's see what's inside. We got a business card here. It says, Merry Christmas, Alex. I was right. Let's see what we got. We got some Helgramites. We got some samples here. And some little whipper snappers or something like that. Neat color too. Once it warms up a tiny bit and the bluegills start biting again. I'll be out there trying stuff just like this. Merry Christmas to you as well. I know we're a little bit past Christmas, but I really do appreciate it. Still got a couple more. We got to do them all. This one is from Will in Auburn, Georgia. The letter says, Realistic Fishing. Saw the gulp minnows and knew you could use some more. The crankbaits I found one day while fishing. I thought they would look good hanging on your wall. Hope you enjoy the rest of the goodies. Hope you and your family had a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Will. Thanks, Will. I did have a Merry Christmas and I'm gonna try and have a Happy New Year. Let's see what he's talking about. Got some power bait here. We got a power worm. 
I have definitely caught bass on that. Got some rage tails, one of my favorite here, the craw. I can definitely catch bass on that. All right, we got some terminal tackle here. We got some pinch on sinkers. You can never have too many pinch on sinkers. And some Aberdeen hooks from Ozark Trail. Again, the basics like this, you can never have too many. All right, we got something wrapped in a towel here. Gulp minnows. How awesome is that? Wrapped in a towel because sometimes they leak. Not one, but two jars. This is probably my favorite panfish bait of all time. I know they're awesome. I've used them a hundred times on the channel, if not more. Some of my favorites right here. Yeah, awesome. Got some trout nuggets, just in time for trout season. We'll have to give these a try. They look like Play-Doh, shaped into little nuggets. And we got a few lures here. Luckily, they have hook guards on them. There's a good looking deep diving jerk bait with that big bill on it. This is in a rainbow trout pattern. I'm not sure who makes this. It's pretty cool though. Got another jerk bait here. This one looks a little bit older. Maybe this one is a, a Rebel or a Rapala. And looking at the lip here, it is a Rebel. I was right on my first guess. Good looking bait. And finally, we got a Jumbo Cricket or Craw. It's a Craw, I think. But it's in that Rebel Cricket style. Does it say who makes it? Bagley's. So this is a Bagley's backwards craw crankbait. Pretty awesome. Thanks to Will for sending this awesome variety of lures into the show. Can never have too many gulp minnows, and you know I can catch bass on this one. Terminal tackle, crankbaits. It's like Christmas after Christmas. This is Slash Gills from the Juggalo Fishing Posse, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it Realistic. All right, we're coming down the home stretch. I think I got one more package. Let's see what's in here. This package is from Chad in Comstock Park, Michigan. All right, we got a bag full of goodies here, and I see a letter. Let's see what it says. It says, Dear Alex, thanks for a great show. Keep up the great work. Love seeing the creek videos and the cleanups in your parks. Here are some things I found over the last six months. Think you can use them or give them away. Chad. P.S. I would love to trade for a t-shirt or an odd lure if so inclined. Still hunting for those magnum brush hogs you used a long time ago. Okay, I'll look for some of those magnum brush hogs. I don't know, I can't promise that I have some laying around, but I'll see what I can do. I need to make sure I save your address so I can send you something in return. All right, Chad, let's see what's in the bag. All right, we got a couple of packs of Snelled Hooks. Here's some Yum Money Minnows. I have used these in a video before and caught bass. I know these work. Super fluffy yarn from Mustad. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. Maybe for tying flies. Here's a pack of grubs from Spike It. Here's a pack of swim baits from Spike It. Here's a pack of power bait swim baits. I like the name of the store these were bought at. Thrifty Outlet for $2.10. It's not a bad deal. A 
Got some cheapy Chinese pre-snelled hooks here. They don't even have brands on them. Got a spoon here with a shiny iridescent paint job. Some ready to fish pre snelled hooks. Aquastar lures. This is some kind of a spinner that you attach in front of your lures called the Roto Spin. That's kind of interesting. Here's some Bass Magic Swim Baits, only $2.99 at Ollie's. Big boy swim baits there. I'm Tammy from Texas, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Here is part of an Alabama rig of sorts. It's got the head and a bunch of spinners on it, and I think you put your lure right here. We got some Big Bite Baits Bio Bait. I have used these before. I know these packages are sticky. Sticky. They're notorious for leaking. I found them at a discount store for the same reason. They were all stuck together. I gotta be careful with these. I don't want to let them touch the table. It'll be sticky. Some more power bait swim baits. And another spoon. Let me set these down real quick. Thanks to Chad for sending this variety of lures into the show. Power bait, sticky bio bait, spoons, fluttering spinners, all sorts of cool stuff. And yes, I will try to find you some of those Magnum brush hogs. I think I have some over there somewhere. Anyway, thanks again, Chad. And thanks again to everyone who sends mail into the show. On days like today, it really helps the day go by when I'm thinking about fishing. But it's a good idea to not actually go fishing. Oh, and by the way, if you watched this video... Leave a comment down below. We'll do a secret giveaway in a future video. Just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.